What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you I'm bringing you an at home family first aid kit. I'm so excited to bring this to you because this is 2.0 version. I already have another version floating out there on YouTube which is still a great system. I will pop a picture up here and link it in the eye above and down below for you guys. But as time goes on you know you got to revamp and you got to change and switch up your system if it's not working anymore because we are full-time RVers, a family of six. I'm a mom of four so there's definitely a lot of boo-boos. I made a three bag system so that way if I just have minor cuts and scrapes we grab one everything else is in another one and then I have another third bag that that video will be coming very soon so that way I can interchange them instead of having to grab one whole container for everything which also makes it super nice for my kids so if they get an owie they know to just grab the little one here I love that my subscribers gave me the name the kit queen because you know your girl has brought you another kit I love being prepared and building kits for you guys this does not fall short I searched the internet high and low to see what what bags and systems were out there and nobody has this one which I'm so excited I made this all myself added the little patch on the front let me just give you a little sneak peek on what's inside Woo! I cannot wait to show you guys this video but before that I want to announce my giveaway the day has come I am so excited you guys it is finally here three of you will get three coaching calls with me which is of high dollar value I've never done something like this before I'm so excited to do it for you I've been getting so many messages from people about my experience and things that have been going on with me and have been able to transform and be just the higher better version of myself and I want to be able to pass it on to you guys so for the first Three people are getting my coaching sessions absolutely free. All of the information will be in the down bar for you, how to participate, all the rules and all of that. And I'm so excited to do this giveaway for you guys. You mean the world to me and thank you for being there through all of the changes through my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, you guys, here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to finally be showing you this because I've been working on it for days. This is your video you're getting today. This is my first aid kit as time went on things change and now the system is just perfect 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 <laughs> for what we've got going on and maybe if you guys are in a smaller space or you wanted a new system this is my updated version of the family first aid kit so this is going to be a three bag system this is just two of the three bags we will have a medicine bag that accompanies this i love this you guys i hope you enjoy this system i hope it would work for you or help you especially if you have a smaller space because two you can buy just this one here and do a smaller system or if you don't want to do like a two bag system for me i like having a lot of first aid i feel like you can never have enough first aid on hand i bought these first aid patches they actually glow in the dark everything will be listed for you guys either in a blog post or down below but i'm so excited to show you guys everything all right so the first bag now i wanted my other system was it was just bigger and bulky as you guys saw and it went underneath my basement down below in my RV. I'm a full-time RVer if you guys don't know that. And it was just a little hard for the kids to pull out every time we had like simple like owies, okay? And that's what makes this system so amazing. So when they do have a simple owie, I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod here in just a second, but we have this bag here. This houses everything you need for a basic wound, which is scra scratches, scrapes, anything like that that will be in this bag here even a little more severe you can just grab this bag and be good and then in here is going to be everything else you would need for first aid so then you can grab this bag if things are a little bit more severe or not a cut or a scrape okay so how i did everything and i'm kind of weird like this let me know if you guys are down below but i want everything to open up like a book so that's the way so when you turn it when you unzip it I like to open it and then I can read everything here and every box that you open also opens up like a book like this okay so I love that <laughs> so here is everything inside of the bag now I have a few things on the side okay so we have wet wipes which are amazing to have and then I have some paper towels like let's just say there's a mess somebody's bleeding a little bit more than normal you can dry off a paper towel lay pa paper towels down as well as a garbage bag you can throw all your trash in there lay the garbage bag down I mean it just kind of depends and then I just have a face mask in here so that is all that's in the little side pouch right here and it fits perfectly so we have sanitation and morale i'll show you guys that and what that means topical cotton gauze specialty band-aids regular band-aids large band-aids and extra band-aids all 
bandages. So the first section here, we have sanitizer, gloves, and lollipops. And I love how the containers are. They feel like really good quality. We have lollipops. We have sanitizer. I, I bought a bunch of these little spray things. I will link those for you guys. All right, so this is everything. Not very much in that first container, but I'm gonna add stickers in here too. I just haven't had a chance to, but you guys can add whatever you want. This is just giving you an idea, but you can customize everything that you want. Just love how it slides back in there. Oh, let me show you guys the front of these. On the front of every single one, it lists for you guys the content. So that way, when stuff is empty, I remember what's in here because you won't, okay? So I list everything off in the front there like that. And so each one has everything listed here, just like that. Just know every single one has every single item listed. This one is topical. That means all the topical things, alcohol pads, wound wash, hydrogen peroxide, syringe, neosporin wipes. And then I have some chapstick. Okay, the next one is cotton and it's just basically cotton pads, Q-tips, and cotton balls. So basically when I'm cleansing, I will take out the topical container and I will grab the wound wash and then I will grab whatever else I need out of here. There's, or the hydrogen peroxide, whatever I decide. So you can have these loose in here too, you guys. I just personally, like since I RV, there's a lot of dirt everywhere. I just prefer not to do that. All right, so in the next one here, I have a roll of gauze. I have scissors, gauze pads. Now just keep in mind, these are just small gauze pads. This is for like minor scrapes and wounds and things like that. I have this one here that is for like major cuts and stuff like that. This is just very minor things we've got going on. I just have a bunch of scissors, so I put extra scissors everywhere, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so that one goes in there. Next up we have specialty band-aids. And I just have knuckle, finger, small band-aids, and then we have new skin, which is liquid band-aid. Now, this is just really basic. I have nothing listed on here because it's just, it's literally just regular band-aids. And I have three different kinds. I have one for the girls, one for the boys, and then just plain ones here for adults. Then we have large band-aids. This is also not listed because this is literally all that's in here. Is, I believe these are one and a half by three inch band-aids. I didn't put those in one because I don't need to separate anything. I just like keeping things separate, but since this is all that's in here, I um, just left them out. And then in the last one, we have extra large band-aids, which I also did not label and I kept them out of the container. I believe these are three by four. Okay. And that is it, you guys. So like I said, when the kids, when somebody just gets an owie, they just grab this. And oh, I wanted to mention this, you guys. So you know how I have the lollipops in here? Multiple kids have gotten boo-boos at my house and I always give them a lollipop and the kids just freak out. There's something special about it, especially these little ones from the Dollar Tree. They just kind of remind me of the ones from like Disneyland or whatever. I mean, it's a hit. And everybody always just loves me taking care of them. I pull out my little kit and now I don't have to pull out that giant thing. I can just grab this and everything will be good. And I'm actually gonna put all of this back in here. Like I said, this all goes into the back. And there is some extra space. So it makes it like really flat right here, which is nice. It does add a little bit of a bulge on the back, but I totally don't mind because the front still looks flat. You guys, I just wanted to show you the big one and then here's the little one. What like the, price, the size difference is right here like this. Okay, I think this is a good angle. So I'm gonna put this on the side like we were so you guys can see the things over here on this side. So the same exact thing goes. I have a few things slid down on the side here. It's actually one zipper pouch. And then I have everything listed. Now these categories are past minor scrapes and wounds, okay? We have tools, miscellaneous, major wounds, trauma wounds, pain, rash burns, eyes, nose, mouth, splints, and braces. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what is in this little pouch I keep on the side here. It says, I'll just show you guys what's on here. Garbage bags, paper towels, hand wipes, face mats, 
face mask, cooling pad, and hand warmers. Okay, and that's basically all that's in here. Just some extra stuff that we may need. Okay, next up we have tools and miscellaneous. I love how you can see everything at a glance. You can just grab what you need. The other system, it only had three containers and then everything else was kind of on the top. This way I can break down things into smaller categories, which I definitely prefer that. So I, this case did not come with this set. All of these containers do come with it, but I bought this separate at Walmart. And unfortunately when I clicked, when I looked it up online for you guys, it showed a completely different one because you can customize the little spaces here. So if I can find something similar, I will definitely link it for you guys. But I also put everything at a glance on the top because since it has compartments, I want you to know what goes there. So everything has a home since there's all these little individual spaces. So we have chopsticks, sanitizer straws, thermometer, duct tape, tick remover, lollipops, safety pins, splinter remover, and gloves. This is all that's in this container here. Oh, splinter stuff. Set that right there. This is just the instructions. Oh, oh my God, our tweezers. Okay, so this is everything in here. This is just the instructions and I'm not gonna pull the gloves out because they were kind of annoying to get in there, but that is it for this container here. All right, next up we have major wounds. So we have gauze, big pieces of gauze. We have just all different types of gauze. Wound wash, we have a syringe so that way you can clean out the wound if you need to. We have scissors for the tape, two different types of tape. One is waterproof and one is cloth. Okay, then we're gonna stick that in there. We have trauma wounds. This one's kind of hard to get out. We have tourniquet, Israeli bandage, surgical blade, bleed stop, and steri strip. So um, my Israeli bandage is not in here. I have to find it. It wasn't in my kit, which is really weird because I have so many of them. But we have bleed stop, steri strip, and surgical blades. And that's basically for like you need stitches, you're bleeding really badly, or you are going to die and we need to do a tourniquet on you. This is the serious business container, basically. The next one we have pain, thermal pad, pain patch, numb cream, icy hot, or gel prep H. Okay, so this is anything that could make you have pain. The only thing I'm missing out of here is um, the pain patch. I can't find those either and I had a bunch of them so I have to stick those in here. All right, so in here we have or gel, icy hot, thermocare. This is like a heating pad and pre uh, preparation H towels and numbing cream. And then, like I said, we would also have the pain patch, which is like a Tylenol patch that you stick on your body instead of having to take the pills. It goes straight to the area. Okay. The next one up is rash and burns case. So this is anything that pretty much has to do with skin. And the reason why I could have just put skin, but I wanted my kids, if they're looking for something like rash or burns, I wanted them to know like if it's some, whatever's wrong with them, that's what they could kind of go and look for. In this one, we have poison ivy itch spray. We have burn gel, Benadryl, after bite, which is after you get bit by a bug, calamine. Then we have wart, band-aids, and then we have sting kill. So if you get stung by a bee or a wasp or anything like that, it will relieve the pain. That is all that is in this one here. Now, this is all jammed packed inside of this one here. There is a lot inside of this one. I can't believe I got all this to fit in there. That's a pretty good. So we have eye wash. Now, I really wanted this to fit. This is a cup, I bought two of them. I'll put one in my beach bag for sure. Kids are always getting sand in their eyes. And then I might put one in another first aid kit somewhere else just because it won't fit in here. I may just keep this in my kitchen or something like that or tuck it on the side. I don't know, maybe I could wrap something around and stick it. I don't know. I will link these. They're two little eye wash cups. You fill it up halfway, put it, press it against the eye, and then have them tip back and forth. So these containers, I forgot to mention this, are from Target. I will also link those for you guys, as well as this chest rub container. It comes with like three different sizes. The smallest one is the only one that could fit. Mostly this stuff is from Target and Amazon, Walgreens, different places. Then we have an eye patch and then we have eye patch band-aids. So let's just say they scratch their eyeball from sand at the beach. 
you can clean it out and put one of these over there just so it doesn't strain the eye. And there's also an eye patch if it's something a little bit more serious, you're trying to get them to the emergency room. Then we have nasal spray. This has got some type of medication in it. This is for pain, dental pain. And this is a dental kit for crowns and caps until you can get to the dentist. So like I said, it's, it's so nice to have everything here all together. All right. The next two are pretty basic. We have splints. Okay, so I just have ace bandages, ace bandage tape, and two finger splints. I'm gonna put a Sam splint in here later, and this tape will come in useful for that. I just got the smaller one so it could fit. Obviously, the bigger one is more ideal, so you can have, so you can cover more, but this works for now. All right, and the very last one is arm sling and ankle brace so that's all it is you guys it's just an arm sling and an ankle brace and it's nice because these plastic containers it kind of makes it more like see how fluffy it is and then when you press it down it kind of like makes it more compact okay well, you guys so there it is i'm gonna stick this back in here like i said i love listing everything on the front of it so that way we know exactly what's inside all right you guys i hope you enjoyed my at home family first aid kit i had so much fun putting this together for you guys and good luck to you on the giveaway like i said everything will be listed down below for you if you haven't done so already subscribe and hit that little bell thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time where's your girl